Burma's deep divisions caught on camera for all to see. This is a Muslim gold shop in Mektila being looted by an angry mob. An argument over a piece of jewellery has brought Buddhists onto the streets. It's March the 20th and the running saw that is Burma's ethnic tension is about to burst into the open once more. Among the crowd are monks. The police watch, hopelessly outnumbered, as the shop is torn apart. Muslim and Buddhist communities have lived in Mektila for generations, but times are changing and anti-Islamic sentiment is taking hold. The extraordinary thing about these pictures is that most of it was filmed by the Burmese police. Their footage provides the most comprehensive account we've seen yet of ethnic clashes in Burma, both how the violence unfolded and how the police failed to protect Muslim communities. Later that same day, a monk was attacked as he rode on the back of a motorbike. This man was the driver and says Muslims dragged the monk onto the ground before killing him. As news of the monk spread, tensions rose once more. Houses and mosques are set on fire as Buddhist and Muslim gangs roam the streets. In this shot, a man, almost certainly a Muslim, is on the floor. He's been set on fire. His body is charred, but he is still alive. Watching, but not helping, are several policemen. This is the next morning. The entire Muslim district of Mingalazai Yone is burning. The first day may have taken the authorities by surprise, but this is the second, and riot police have been deployed. And yet, they still do nothing. From the hillside, a crowd watch as people flee the fire and try to hide. Then a young Muslim man, perhaps only a boy, is forced into the open. One man's stick nearly breaks, and then a monk joins in the beating. Then the man in the white shirt steps in with a sword. He delivers what appears to be a fatal blow. At the same time, the police are at last taking action, escorting Muslim women and children away from their burning homes. After another day of violence and at least 43 deaths, the situation was at last brought under control. The Muslims that fled now live in camps or with relatives, but there's little prospect of them returning home. This is a country where Buddhists dominate every aspect of life. Creating a future where minorities like Muslims feel they belong could well be Burma's greatest test. <laughs>